greetings world it's Zach again uh, just got done at the gym on the dread mill and it was good I think it's uh, I think it's necessary that I move around a little bit in addition to my work schedule um, just so I don't get too lazy or stiff or whatever. Um, but anyways, while I was in the gym, they have a uh, one of those cardio theaters or whatever you want to call it, and they play a movie. And I can't say I'm a big fan of the movie they were playing, but I did get something from it. They were they were playing uh, I don't know how many there are, but Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever. And um, there was a line in the movie that I, I could really relate to uh, to my faith. And um, I don't know the scene. I don't know who said it. I don't know anything like that. But it said, um, "Abandon, abandon the ship, or abandon all hope." And I was like, man, I needed that because it's so true. Uh, you know, in order to in order to grasp a hope, in order to, to grasp full faith, we must first abandon the ship that is the world. Um, in the Gospels it tells us that, um, I believe it's in Matthew, it says, if, if any of you are unwilling, you know, if you all, something like, if you want to follow me, you need to pick up your cross and, and, and bear your own cross. Um, if, if you want to be a true disciple of Jesus, you need to bear your own cross and, and follow him. Um, now, that's so true that we must first abandon, um, that we must first abandon the, uh, the worldly ship in order for us to, to fully grasp hope. Now, the cross that you carry could be anything. It could be, um, it could main, you know, anything consisting of your sin. That could be addictions. It could be hatred. Um, it could be lack of faith. Uh, anything that you're struggling with, depression, suicide, um, anything that the world throws at you, you need to be willing to to put on your back, and um, Jesus will alleviate that, and He will give you hope, and He will give you faith. But we can't be complacent as Christians to just set back and say Jesus will take care of it all to the point where we don't do anything. Jesus will take care of it all. He will, but you know we have to give an effort. And we have to put effort into following him and um, in trusting his word and walking with him. Jesus is, um, he's many things to me, but um, above all, um, being a father, uh, which offers unconditional love, he's, he's a friend. Um, he, is, he is a sacred, sacred friend as well. And just like any friendship or just like any uh, parenthood relationship, um, you talk to these people and um, I don't really want to say you put an effort into having a relationship with them, but it's more of like a willingness, you know, it's, it's just like when you talk to a parent or a brother or sister, it's a willingness to want to know them more and uh, follow them more. And what we need to do um, is we need to do that with Jesus. We need to follow him and we need to have that willingness. At first it might be an effort if you don't know him, but, but, through, but through prayer and, um, and through perseverance, we begin to develop that. Um, so with that in mind, um, you know, think of, think of your cross that, that you're bearing or not bearing and, and think of how Jesus is, um, is, is and has um, intervened in your life. Um, so, thanks for listening, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.